Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching The Foster Season 3, Episode 12. This one's called Mixed Messages. Uh, if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter or like to get early access to my reactions, would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, links are down below. Let's get into this episode. And the mortality rate for women who opted for mastectomy was no less than the women who opted for radiation and lumpectomy. Oh, uh, okay, what does that mean? It means that, that a lot of people are, are choosing really extreme measures when they don't have to. You know, this is not an emergency situation. Yeah, I just, I think that I'm uh, just feeling a little overwhelmed. I just, I can't talk about this right now. That's okay. I can talk about it whenever you're ready. Okay. I'm sorry, I just, I think I feel... It's okay. No, it's not. It's okay. I'm not trying to push you away. I know. It's it's really okay. I think this storyline is gonna be hard on me. Stupid popularity contest. She's supposed to be my best friend. Be like Taylor Swift when Katy Perry stabbed her in the what? back. Well, you know what? It's on. That was weird. Well, thanks for the sympathetic ear. She's having issues. I really appreciate it. Did you ever tell anyone about uh, what we did in Adelaide? No. <laughs> Why? Did you? Yeah. I forgot that she did. Yeah, she told Daphne. Yes, no. Thank you for making breakfast. Look at that. It's vegan sausage. Yeah. Are they gonna tell the kids? <laughs> hey. Mama, do I have to take Shakespeare? <laughs> yes, it's a requirement. Just like your senior projects, have you guys given any thought to what you're gonna do? But what, doesn't my audition for Julia count? Sorry, it doesn't work like that. You're um not gonna be wrestling this year. What, what, why? Because your actions at Flintwood have to have consequences. I thought the consequence was not getting to go back there. You gave in to peer pressure and you made some really bad decisions. Yeah, but I stopped taking the steroids and I told you guys. This is not up for discussion. Are you sure that's good parenting? Or, let me rephrase that question, do you think it's a good idea to take away from him something that he really loves, which also helps him get that testosterone out? Mom, it's not a consequence if it's not something that he loves. Okay. I'm just gonna mind my own business. <laughs> a good idea. Um, I'm gonna stay here and see you through the mastectomy and recovery, and I wanna be here for just as long as I can be helpful. Sharon. We don't know that she's having a mastectomy. She has breast cancer. She has a precancerous condition that may not turn into cancer. All right, well, you know what? When the doctor told me I had precancerous cells in my uterus, I didn't mess around. I, I got a hysterectomy like that. Okay. When you have cancer, you just cut it out. I really think we need to be proactive here. Okay, and I think we need to, to take our time and make an informed decision. And I think that you should um, go on your vacation, Mom. Have fun, yeah? This is cannabis oil. High in antioxidants, being used to suppress cancers, among many other things. I take a drop under my tongue every morning. Do you? Yeah, but it can also be vaporized or use it as a suppository. I am a cop. You do remember that, right, Mom? <laughs> Does he want to keep it secret that AJ's gone? Hey. Hey. So what time is the funeral tomorrow? Uh, three. I'll take Ty in after. Yep. Okay. She wants to do it, like, directly after the funeral kind of cold, but no matter, they ain't there, so. Poor Mike. Sorry, dude. I didn't see you. Oh, damn. How many clowns you got in that car? <laughs> I was just hey, thinking about that. Settle. Hi, I'm Mariana Foster. You must be new here. Yeah, I'm Nick. What year are you in? Junior. Hmm. I'm a junior, too. And I'm running for class president. I'd love your vote. Need a hand? Sure. Well, he could have just done that. That was not even necessary. What are you doing? Oh, hey, I was um, I was just helping her with the poster. Uh huh. <laughs> Lexi for Prexy? Wow, all the ex-girlfriends oh, and I suppose sister. you're just helping too. I'm Lexi's campaign manager. Heard you were back. It's too bad. You know that that's how secrets stop being secret, Callie. When you tell people. Yeah. Tell Brandon I didn't tell nobody about you two at Idaho so he can stop being mad at me. How is it with you and him? I mean, it's hard. But, um, you know, we're friends first, so 
At least we're in it together. I mean, do you have any idea what it's like trying to get over someone when you have to see them every day? <laughs> He's yeah, got some idea. Hard. Look, if you're this hung up on her, just just get back together with her. I mean, it's not like there's some insurmountable obstacle keeping you apart. I just wish there was something else I could think about, you know? I need a hottie to drop out of the sky and turn my head around. Hey, Brandon just found one. You know what I mean? Is that the girl from the bar or the uh, whatever yeah, I, it was I, I do. I'll be right that back. he met? What if the person who posted that comment was talking about Liam? I think I said something so, like that. Uh, you like stalking me now? Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, my, my school is just around there. Oh, right. Well, hey, if you ever want to, you know, learn, I could teach you a few things. Okay, uh, yeah, so, so maybe sometime that, that, that'd be rad. You know, surfers don't really talk like that, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I'm, I know. I... I'm just teasing. Yeah, that would be rad. It's best just to focus on how nice it's going to be when you do see Connor as opposed to how bad it feels when you don't. I'll try. We never thought you were going to get adopted. Are we just telling ourselves that? I mean, I have this huge secret. How am I supposed to let people think that I'm some kind of role model? Because you are. You are. Kelly, you, you, you survived the system, and you've helped a lot of people. I think you're just afraid to be more than the poor foster girl with the sad story and the hard life. But that's not who you are anymore. You, you, you have the chance to be so much more, to be happy and, and to go out and shine in the world. The only thing holding you back is you, and you're holding me back too. I'm sorry, I thought we were in this together. We can't be in this together. Not if we want to move on. I just wanted to tell you that uh, I've changed my mind. After a lot of consideration, I've decided that it, it's really, really not a good idea to have the mastectomy. Okay, thanks for the I do think that you should have the lumpectomy as well as looking into other therapies along with the cannabis oil But I definitely don't think that you should do anything prophylactic Does she know what her mom is doing? Well, that was a 180 Really sad the grandsons aren't gonna be there for her funeral You ready? Um are you sure there's not like a second best break in San Diego? Or one that's like smaller? <laughs> Relax, we're just gonna practice on the shore breaks. Come on. You know, I'm all for Ty having to pay, but seriously? Steph, like right there? Where are they, Mike? I thought they'd show up for their grandmother's funeral. Look, Steph, I swear I didn't tip off AJ. I mean, maybe Ty got spooked when you brought Olsen back in for questioning again. I... Look, I'm sorry. I know you're angry, and it was my idea to wait till after the funeral, so go ahead, let me have it. Could be worse, I could have cancer. That's not funny. No, it's not. <clears throat> Something going on? Just I have, um, I don't know, you call it stage zero breast cancer? What does that mean, stage zero? It means that um, I don't have it yet, but I could get it. I don't know. It's just kind of confusing. Oh, so what are you supposed to do? Well, I could get a lumpectomy and have radiation, or I could have a mastectomy. What do you want to do? Well, you know me. I really don't want to sit around waiting and wondering. I think I, I would rather just, uh, just get a mastectomy and, and not have to worry about it. Sorry, Steph. I don't know, I can get that boob job I've always wanted. I'm talking about you got great boobs. Yeah, you haven't seen them lately. <laughs> <laughs> this just get awkward. Yeah, I did. Yeah, sure a little bit. <laughs> I'll see you later. Poor Steph. Mariana, what's your position on prescription drugs being sold to students at Anchor Beach? Um, mm -hmm. well, definitely something that we should combat. Lexi, what's your stance on having free condoms in the bathrooms? Well, I, um, safe sex is important, and we obviously want to prevent pregnancy, so... At the time, or the morning after? <laughs> They're trying to play dirty well, with them. As your junior Not, class president, uh. I can be trusted. Trusted? 
How can you trust someone who stabs their best friend in the back? I did not stab you in the back. Please, you're just running against me because you're jealous and I'm not living in your shadow anymore. Jealous of you, get real. Okay, I think we Neither need to- Neither of you are gonna get it this you're way. The one that's I think this debate is over. Sorry, I, I just, I thought it was just gonna be you and your phone or something. Oh, God, no, I can't take a decent selfie. <laughs> Callie. Callie, you're not just an inspiration, you're an aspiration. I mean, for foster kids everywhere. I mean, if they can see it, they can be it. So let's show them all they can be. Things that I don't trust this you. lady. She's this really weird and sketchy.